Today, we're diving into seven SEO best practices for landing pages. Yeah, I know SEO sounds like one of those mysterious internet things, but don't worry. As always, I'm here to make it as easy as pie for you to understand. How's it going? My name is Ace from MailerLite, and this is actually what we're going to specifically cover in this video. We're going to cover keywords, titles, meta description, alt text, mobile optimization, high quality content, and CTAs, AKA call to action. So why should you care about SEO for your landing pages though? Well, imagine you've baked the world's best chocolate chip cookies, but you've hidden them in a cupboard. SEO is like putting those cookies right on the kitchen counter where everyone can see and devour them. This video should give you a solid SEO foundation, but if you're craving for more, Check out the link in the description below. We have a blog overflowing with SEO tips and tricks. It's a gold mine, trust me. First up, targeting the right keywords. Think of keywords as the secret sauce in your recipe. Without them, your landing page is just a bland dish that nobody wants to try. SEO keywords are the specific words that people enter into search engines when they're looking for information, products, or services. Have you ever typed a question into Google and you've seen suggested searches appear? Those are actually SEO keywords and key phrases in action. Bonus tip, use Google suggestions to discover high volume keywords people are actively searching for right now. When you know the best keywords to include in your content, you can make it easier for people to find your site. Use tools like Google Keyword Planner or Ahrefs to find out what your audience is searching for. Also, don't overstuff your page with keywords. Keyword stuffing is a big no-no. Now let's talk about how to make search engines and users find it. This is where page titles, meta descriptions, and alt text come into play. Now for page titles, they should be clear and concise and mention the key ingredients, AKA your keywords of your content. People should know exactly what they're getting just by reading the title. Next up, you have meta titles and descriptions. This is what people see in the search engine result page before deciding to enter your landing page. Here, you wanna aim for under 50 to 60 characters for the meta title and 160 characters or less for the meta description. Great meta titles and descriptions are descriptive of the content while they are also irresistible to click. Lastly, don't forget to mention relevant keywords here too, but you're gonna to wanna to focus on the benefits for the searcher like easy recipe or expert tips or just anything like that. Next is alt text. Imagine alt text as captions for the blind. It bridges the gap for visitors who can't see your website's images by providing clear descriptions. These descriptions not only help the visually impaired users understand your content, but it can also act as clues for search engines to understand your web page. You're gonna wanna include relevant keywords in your alt text to boost your SEO and potentially rank higher in image searches. Now let's talk mobile optimization. These days, people are browsing on their phones more than ever. In fact, there are over approximately 5 billion mobile internet users globally, and as of 2024, 60% of the internet traffic comes from mobile devices. So if your landing page isn't mobile friendly, it's like having a storefront with the doors closed for more than half of your potential customers. And yeah, that doesn't help anyone. You wanna use responsive design and make sure everything loads quickly and looks great on those smaller screens. Speaking of speed, attention spans are short these days. Every second a website takes to load chips away at your user's patience. To keep users happy and engaged, prioritize website speed, compress images, minify code, and leverage browser caching to ensure a lightning fast experience for them. Oh, and if you don't know what minifying code for your website is, it's essentially shrinking the size of your website's files by removing unnecessary characters, spaces, and things like that in the code. Keeping it lean, resulting in quicker load times. High quality content is the cornerstone of any successful website. When crafting your content, focus on creating informative and especially valuable pieces that directly address your visitors' questions and solve their problems. You want to provide insights and solutions that resonate with your target audience, and also be sure to avoid clickbait tactics. It may get you a quick click, but it ultimately erodes trust and discourages repeat visits, which will hurt you as it signals search engines to lower your ranking on the search result page. So focus on creating content that is informative 
engaging, and valuable, and you'll be able to establish yourself as a trusted authority in your field. Call to action. Imagine a museum with amazing stuff, but no signs showing you the way out. Yeah, it's gonna get confusing and you're gonna get lost, right? CTAs, AKA call to actions, are like those signs, but for your website. They tell people what to do next, whether it's subscribing to your email list, uh, downloading a free guide, or making a purchase. With clear and compelling CTAs, you'll guide visitors towards taking the actions that help you achieve your goals, whatever those might be. The beauty of SEO is that it's an ongoing process. You constantly learn, adapt, and improve based on data and user behavior. Think of it like perfecting your cookie recipe over time. By consistently monitoring your website and making data-driven adjustments, you'll keep your SEO strategy on point and attract a steady stream of visitors. And there you have it, seven SEO best practices to make your landing pages pop like popcorn. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe for more tips and maybe share it with a friend who could use a little SEO love. Until next time, keep optimizing, and I'll catch you all in the next one.